Hello everyone. Welcome to the topic Relations and Functions. Here we discuss composition of functions, FOG, GOF and inverse of a function. Consider f from r to r given by f of x is equal to 4x plus 3. Show that f is invertible. Find the inverse of f. The function is defined from r to r. Set of real numbers to set of real numbers. Domain and codomain, set of real numbers and set of real numbers. And the rule is 4x plus 3. To show it is invertible. First of all, we have to show that the function is 1, 1 and on 2. A function is invertible only if it is 1, 1 and on 2. And what is 1, 1 function? A function defined from A to B is called 1, 1 function if distinct elements have distinct images. That is, if x1 is not equal to x2 in the domain, their respective images should also be unequal. In other words, in case the images happen to be equal, the pre-images should also be equal. These are two interpretations of this 1-1 one -one function. Let's check whether this given function is 1-1 one -one function. I will go by this second interpretation. Let f of x1 be equal to f of x2 for some x1 and x2 of the domain f of x1 equal to f of x2 means 4x1 plus 3 equal to 4x2 plus 3. f of x1 is 4x1 plus 3. f of x2 is 4x2 plus 3. Simplify further. 4x1 is equal to 4x2. That is 3 and 3 equal terms on either sides. Which gives me x1 equal to x2. So the two images taken equal imply that the two pre-images are also equal. It is very well fitting with the definition of one oneness. Hence, this function is one one function. Now, is it an on to function? What is on to? A function defined from set A to set B is called on to function if for each element taken in the codomain there existed x in the domain such that f of x is equal to y. Does it happen so? Let's take a y in the codomain. A y in the codomain. And if possible, write this y as 4x plus 3. This y that we have taken here, if possible, let it be 4x plus 3 for some x. Now, is it possible yet to be checked? From here, let me solve for x y minus 3 upon 4 will be equal to x. Now for a y, for a y taken here, I am able to get an x. But the question is, will this x belong to the domain? Let me check. y minus 3 upon 4. y is any real number. y minus 3 is a real number. And a real number divided by 4 is a real number. So, the x that I have calculated will surely be available in the domain, the set of real numbers. Hence, for a y taken here, I am getting an x here. Now, the question is, will the image of x be equal to y itself? Need to be checked. Find f of x, this x that we got, its image, let us calculate f of x x is replaced by the calculated expression y minus 3 by 4, f of y minus 3 by 4. And f function says 4 times the element plus 3. So f of this element will be 4 times this element plus 3. The element is this. 4 times x plus 3. x is y minus 3 by 4. Simplify further. Here 4 times and divide by 4 makes it y minus 3. y minus 3 plus 3 is y. So, corresponding to a y that I have taken in the codomain, I could get an x in the domain such that f of x is equal to y itself.
it is very well fitting with the definition of onto. Hence, this function is onto function also. Since we could prove that this function is 1 1 function as well as onto function, it is invertible. It is an invertible function and has a unique inverse. Now we need to find the inverse of f. The procedure goes this way. Corresponding to this fx equal to 4x plus 3, we should be able to get a g defined from codomain to domain. A g is to be found out. Not just a g. The g defined from b to a satisfying these two conditions. G O F should be identity and F O G should be identity. How to get that G Y? Let's take a Y in the codomain. Let Y belong to codomain. Then, if possible, write this Y as 4X plus 3 and solve 4X. How to get the corresponding x for this y? That is what we are looking for. Which is what going to be the inverse to get the reverse rule. For any y, how do we get the x back? There must be some rule. That rule is what we are looking for. So solve for x. y minus 3 upon 4. This is the rule by which we can get back the x whose image is this y. Now, this element, this rule y minus 3 by 4, treat it as g function. Take this as gy. This must be the rule by which this y is taken back to x. This must be the inverse function, but need to be verified. Will this g function defined from codomain to domain satisfy these two conditions? Let us cross check. I'll go for GYF and FOG. Will they be identity function? Let's cross check. GYF of X. According to composition of functions, GYF of X is equal to G of F of X. That is, G of F of X function 4X plus 3 is replaced here. So treat this 4X plus 3 as one element and apply it in the G rule. G rule says G of Y is Y minus 3 upon 4. That means the element minus 3 upon 4 is the rule. So let me apply here. Element minus 3 upon 4 is the G rule. Element minus 3 upon 4. Element is 4X plus 3 upon 4. Plus 3 minus 3 makes it 4X in the numerator. Then divide by 4 is equal to X. Yes. G Y F of X is equal to X itself. So, GYF is acting as an identity function. GYF of X is equal to X. So, GYF is identity function. Let's continue with FOG. FOG of Y, according to the definition of the composition of two functions, FOG of Y is F of GY. And what is GY? Replace it here. F of Y minus 3 by 4. Now, apply this element in the F rule. F rule says F of X is 4X plus 3. That is 4 times the element plus 3. So, F of this element is 4 times this element plus 3. 4 times this element plus 3. Simplify further. This makes it Y minus 3 plus 3. That is Y. So, FOG of Y is equal to Y itself. F O G of Y is equal to Y itself. That means F O G is acting like identity function. It is identity function. So we could get both pair. F O G is identity function and G Y F is identity function. Both. Together imply that this G is the inverse. The G that we got here is satisfying the condition completely for the inverse. So, this is the inverse of f. This g, y is the inverse of fx. Hence, 
f inverse y is equal to y minus 3 by 4. f inverse y is equal to y minus 3 by 4. So, if this is the f rule, its inverse rule is y minus 3 divided by 4. This is the inverse of f.